Hi, I'm Dr. Wright. Let's uh, look at some background to your gastro problem and why this new treatment is being trialled. We see many patients who consult their doctor with abdominal symptoms arising from the stomach or intestines. These include indigestion, full feelings, bloating, belching, nausea, altered bowel habit, excessive gas and cramps. When all the tests are normal, we make a diagnosis of functional dyspepsia or irritable bowel syndrome. And because of their similarities, we consider these two conditions together as the functional gastrointestinal disorders. Drug treatments are usually prescribed, but in many patients this fails to control the symptoms and we are constantly in search of new and better treatments. Let's look at why these disorders occur. This is called the vagus nerve. It's the direct line of communication between your stomach and intestines and the brain. When you get normal feelings of hunger, feeling full, butterflies or the urge to go to the loo, these sensations are detected by the vagus nerve and relayed to your brain. Of course, as we go about our daily lives, we don't notice our stomach and intestines pumping, churning and digesting our meals because the sensations traveling up the vagus to the brain are blocked from reaching consciousness. We only recognize bowel sensations when the message is powerful enough to overcome the natural filter. This normally occurs when we need food or eat too much, feel nervous or contract a bowel infection. In functional dyspepsia and irritable bowel syndrome, there is evidence that the symptoms are due to a malfunction of the filtering mechanism. Now, as a result, bowel sensations normally filtered from consciousness are no longer blocked, and despite the absence of a strong stimulus, bowel symptoms are felt. There are lots of causes for the loss of the filter, including previous bowel infection, adverse life events, stress, and occasionally food intolerance. A new approach to treating these disorders is to apply gentle electrical stimulation to the vagus nerve as it travels through the neck en route from the stomach and intestines to the brain. This switches on a special group of fibers in the vagus nerve that can restore balance back to the filtering system and unwanted signals may again be blocked. It's a little like rebooting the system. Using the vagal stimulator is easy. It's positioned on the skin overlying the course of the nerve in the neck and a gentle current can be felt as a tingling sensation. Because there is a vagus nerve on the left and the right, both sides are treated. The duration of each treatment varies from four minutes on each side to six minutes on each side and the treatment is repeated three times daily for a total course of eight weeks. So there you have it. This is a trial of an entirely new non-drug approach to treating both functional dyspepsia and irritable bowel syndrome. Vagal stimulation, it is already used to treat headache that is unresponsive to drug treatment. So we know it is safe. And unlike many drug treatments, there are no appreciable side effects.